Hey everyone, this is Barbara. Welcome to my channel, Jewelry Pirate. I know it's been a couple of days since you've seen me. Um, I'm on today. I have a small video for you. Just to let you know that I'm thinking about everybody. A um, little update. I want to let you know that Miss Padme is doing a little bit better. Um, um, she's um, full of piss and vinegar. She's dragging my laundry all over the house. So I know she's feeling better. And her area there is start the swelling is starting to go down. So thank you, God. Um, she's starting to feel better. We just got to continue to keep giving her the medication. And hopefully we're going to keep her area really clean. And this will not return. So, but I must say... Miss Padme right now does not want anything to do with me. I've been um, reading. I take care of her every night. But I'm the one that does all the nasty stuff to her. You know, I'm the one that he gives her the pill and a piece of liverwurst. So you know what that means. He's the good guy. She doesn't know she's getting the pill. But me... She sees me, I mean, she smells me when she comes near me. She takes off because I'm the one that goes down there and I'm the one that cleans the inside of her legs. I'm the one that has to put the medicated things on her little thing down there. And I'm the one that has to turn around and do the, I have a special syringe with a hook on the end that I have to go in and put stuff down there. So, and also... I have to clean her ears out because she's got a problem with her ears, too. So, needless to say, I'm praying that she gets over this pretty quick so that we can go back to having our relationship because right now she hangs out around weed. And me, mwah, forget it. Um, but it's worth it. You know, like I'll be in the bathroom or stuff and she'll come in. And she realizes it's me in there. Gone. Gone. Okay. Hopefully in one of the videos coming up, I'll try to give you a little shot of her, what she looks like. So in case nobody has yet seen her, I might be able to put a picture in, the, in here somehow. I don't know. I'm not great at all this stuff. But anyway, that's one update. And I want to let you know. Um, everybody's order except for two orders that were paid have gone out. And the other two orders, um, if you haven't gotten, um, a tracking number from me, you know you're one of the two that the orders haven't gone out. But right now here it's, um, anywhere between 95 and 100. Uh, humidity is miserable. So, I try not to go anywhere, and um, because it's hard enough to breathe as it is, let alone go out in this miserable weather. So, anyway, everybody's stuff is coming, um, and like I said, Thursday, there's supposed to be a break to where it's just going to be around 90 with a little bit less humidity, and um, that's when I'm planning on shipping out. They're ready to go. I just have to turn around and get them to the post office. Unless maybe Reed will turn around and take these for me also. Okay, so I have a very small lot for you today. Um, it's um, i got a couple of simple pieces. And everything else mainly is brooches. Um, so we're going to... This was a brooch lot that I had gotten. And... Um, it's kind of nice. I kept quite a few things out of out of this, and um, um, there were some different things. And there's a couple things that I have to uh, I have to research in here. Um, like for instance, this little pin here. I don't know if you can see this. Um, this was the 19 World's Fair Flight 1939 USA NX. 18923. Now it looks like it had something hanging off the front of it, but I want to find out about this pin because um, that's another thing. 
unfortunately that I turn around and I collect is stuff from the 1939 World's Fair. So I want to find out what the story is with this and what is missing on the front of this airplane. Okay, so if anybody that's watching knows anything about this, let me know. I think it was just a cheap, um, maybe there was a propeller there. I think that this was just a cheap souvenir or something, but um, I'll find out. All right, so let's go through some of these things that I have here. Um, I wanted to let you know I have one more of these really nice necklaces. Um, these are heavy, like I said. They're knotted. Um, like, in other words, there's a knot here, and then there's these bees, this set of bees, and then there's another knot. All right, these have these great donuts. This one doesn't have a lot of matrix in it, but it does have some, but not a lot. This is on a very nice cord. Um, I can't explain to you how heavy these are. And um, I think they're, like, they might be glass or whatever, but they are very pretty. And this one here has the blue beads in it to match the um, donut pendant. And like I said, very heavy. The necklace itself is 24 inches. And the donut is 2 inches around. Okay. And for the last one that I have, I don't know if any of the boxes that I have, can you have any more of these or not? Um, four dollars for that. It's very nice. Okay, it's a nice substantial necklace and it's made well. Um, the other thing I have, this is not marked. Um, it's a pendant and I know it's not the best time of the year for Christmas stuff, but this is very, very nice. Um, it's on a green um, cord. I mean, you can take it off and put it on on a chain. Um, all the rhinestones are here. All right, it's a set of Christmas bells. Um, great conditions, like new. So, um, and it has um, where you can slide the pendant, okay, to make it shorter. You can actually put this up so it's up around your neck. And uh, that's what the pendant looks like. So if anybody's interested in this really cute Christmas bell necklace, $3.00. Okay, another um, non-brooch item that I have here. Now, this is new. It's working. I don't have it set to the right time. This is a really nice watch. Um, it's by AccuTime Watch Corporation. Um, it still has the plastic on the face and still has the plastic on the back that you just have to remove. Um, it's like a... I don't know, it's just like a steel gray mesh band, all right, with the uh, closure. All right, you can adjust it to wherever you want. Big face. It's at least the size, the face itself is at least the size of a silver dollar. Okay, that's my Brighton watch, and that's got a fairly big face on it, so you can see the difference. If you have a hard time seeing numbers, trust me, you won't see, you not be able to see them on here. So, if anybody's interested in this brand new watch in really good condition, um, let's do this working condition. Okay, $8. All right, so I don't think there's anything else that's not brooches. So, let's go on to the brooches. All right, we'll start in the back and work our way up. All right, I have a tennis racket. And all the rhinestones are there. This is a large pendant. This is a little bit over. It's just it's, it's just a tiny here over four inches long. All right. And it's probably one and three quarter inches wide. And these are rhinestones here. Very, very pretty brooch. Different. Large in charge. Um, anybody interested in this big pendant? Let's do four on a pendant, excuse me, brooch. Let's do four on that. Now I have a pretty bow. And this, is, I think, is enameled. It's older. You can see the, the backing that's on this. Um, the kind of uh, 
pin back that's on it. All right, it's got the gold thing in the middle here, and these are all rhinestones. Very nice. Um, uh, how about five on this? It's really very pretty, and it's not a new piece. Give me one second. I got to get a little drink of water here. <coughs> <clears throat> All right. All right, then we have, oh, I do have another piece here. We have this little stained glass apple. Nice little gift. There goes my ruler. Nice gift for a teacher. Um, feels cold, so I think it is glass. It's in gold tone. I don't see any markings on it. It's really, really nice. Big apple. Um, no pun intended. Two inches long. And it is one and a half inches wide at the largest point on the apple. Alright, very nice. Very put together. It's got some weight to it. How about if we do four on this for this nice big brooch? <clears throat> All right, put that down. And then I have these. Um, they're hooked together. These are star earrings. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> I'm miserable with this humidity. Okay, so we have these. These are very nice. Give me a second here. You just make sure these are all, all all right. Oh boy. Oh, yeah, they're fine. Um, we'll do these for a dollar. I put my ruler here, <coughs> and then every time I touch it, it sticks to me because it's, there's so much humidity in the air <coughs> that it grabs a hold of me and falls on the floor. Okay. Next pin is this really huge, uh, I guess you would say a quarter moon. Big silver tone. This is big. Okay. It's going to be three and a half inches. All right, from about here down to here. It's almost, let me see if I can measure the point to point. Yeah, it's about three and a half inches. All right. Big pin. An indentation where the eye would be. If you like moon pins, this is a nice one. Let's do five on this. Okay. Then I have this little pin. Um, this is um, um, a safety pin kind of thing. And you put take that out and put it in. This is Mother of Pearl heart with the arrow going through it. Okay. Um, very nice. Four dollars for this pin. Give you a closer look of it. It's really nice. All right, put that over there. And then I have this. We put this back together. Hang on. This is a ribbon. This is perfect for the 4th of July. And it's all rhinestones. I mean, it'd be good for any time of the year. If you're patriotic and you love your country. And you want to show it. It has red rhinestones that come from the outside, go in and go to the outside here, and then the blue, and then in between it's all the silver, and everything looks good. Um, very, very nice. There's the back of it. Okay. Let's do four on that. That's well worth four dollars. It's really, really pretty. Come on. Focus for me. Be, be a good camera. 
This one's just aggravates you when this stuff happens. Let me see if I can do it this way. No, it's gonna it's it's so many little tiny things it's gonna give me a hard time. It wants to focus on other stuff. But anyway, there's that. Now I have this. This has no markings on it. This is probably a little bit bigger than a quarter. This is a basket of flowers. It's really, really pretty. Um, these are all enameled. You have two white flowers, and you have a dark purple and a pinkish purple, and there's um, rhinestones in each of the flowers. This is really cute, Ken. All right, there's the back. Let's see if that'll help a little bit. No, it's not going to help. All right. Um, there you go. Really pretty. Let's do four on that one. This one's really sweet. And this is a JJ. And uh, really, really cute. This is this pin for skiers. I've seen a lot of J uh, JJ pins, but I've never seen this one. <coughs> you have the skis up on top. And then hanging down, you have the goggles, gloves, ski pole, ski boot, and a ski hat. And the ski hat says skiing on it. Let me see here. Whoops. This is so much of a pain in the butt. Almost, almost slipped that out there. Okay. This is a nice pin. Let's do seven on that. All right. And then I have a tic-tac-toe pin. And uh, this has got a marking in it, but it's so tiny I can't see it. Gold tone. X and three O's. And uh, just a very cute pin. All right. Really a nice pin. Let's do three on that. Great condition. Oh, everything I'm showing you, um, unless I mention anything, the condition is really great. All right. This here. Um, this has got a marking on it. It says, oh boy, it just got letters, A something C. This is a really well-made pin. If you're um, a fanatic of the circus, um, this is really beautiful. It has an elephant back here holding up a whole bunch of balloons. And then the big top is behind with two flags. And we have the ringmaster. We have a horse that's standing up on his hind legs. And then a prancing horse here. And then a seal, which has got a ball on his nose. It's a large pin. Maybe it's AJC, if you know what that is. That's the back. This is a heavy pin. It's in a brushed gold. It's really a beautiful pin. Let's do eight on this. Okay, now I have this awesome enameled um, sailboat pin. Again, this is a quality pin. I don't see any markings on it. It almost looks like it's, it's, it, it's a quality like Monet. But I mean, I've never seen Monet do anything, but I've been surprised many times before. Um, it's done in red, white, and blue. Very patriotic. Um, gold tone. Red flag. It's got a star on the sails. Here's your back. And it's got this really little cute anchor that is hanging down below. Alright. I think six on this would be fair. This is a really, really super good quality pin. Alright, I have a few... Of 1928 pins. Let me see what this one is. This one isn't. 
Um, this one is. This one isn't. But this one is. Okay. So we have this telephone pin. Um, and you can see the 1928 design all on the back of it. This is a pretty substantial pin. It says hello here. All right. And it's an old-fashioned telephone that hangs up with the big, large, um, you know, hand piece. It's really great pin. And um, you can see, well, can you see the markings on there? The, the Telltale 19, oh boy, oh boy. The Telltale 1928. Well, there it is. And there's the pin. Very pretty. Let's do six on this one. And then I have two small pins. This one is, this is 1928 also. It's got two little pearls. Here's the back. Okay, great pin inside. And we have this piece here with the pink flower and a, and a, and a purplish flower. Let's do three on this one. Very, very pretty. Two pearls. And we have this one with the porcelain flowers. And it's got a heart here with two love birds in between. And the flowers look good. I don't see any chipped pieces on them. All right. And again, there's the back that has the 1928 design on the back of it. Now, why did that one um, take and focus for me so good? Let's do three on this one also. Okay, I have this pin. And this one here, let me see what it says. Oh, boy. I don't know what this is. It begins with a D. D something. I sure. But anybody, anyway, this is one that's really, really good for somebody that sews. Um, we have a matte finish of an enamel on here for the sewing machine. It's black. And then we have a thimble, a pair of scissors. I don't think, do they? I don't think they do now. They don't open. Um, I guess this would be thread. No, what is this? Ribbon. And this is a th um, spool thread and a needle. The condition is great. Nice heavy-duty pin. Um, if anybody you know that sews and wants a and it is signed. I just can't read it. What it says in the back. Um, excellent, excellent condition. Let me put this back in its place. Okay, here we go. So we have this this really pretty pin. Let's do seven on this. It's got some weight to it. Now, I have this pin, but it's missing something. Um, this, I think, let me see here. This has got a D on it, too. It's just a D, though. Not the whole name like that sewing machine one. Um, this is a coffee pin. Um, I have to look in the bottom of the bag to see if, if this there was anything in here. You have a, a spoon, creamer, a teacup, and I'm not sure what this is. Um, maybe a strainer? I don't know what that one is, but underneath where it says Joe, there's another hook. I'll look in the bottom of the bag. These are all shiny. It says Espresso, Ice, Java, Joe, Coffee, Cafe. There's a spoon here. There's a cup with a spoon and the steam coming off of it. Another one here with the steam coming off of it. Um, I'll see if I can, which, you know, find something. This is all brushed, and these are all um, heavy-duty, shiny um, gold tone. Let's do um, let's do three on that since it's missing the piece, and just in case I can't find it. All right, now this one I'm going to have a hard time. Um, probably showing you what's so good about this. This is a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful pendant, and it's old. All right. Um, and I don't know what the stone is in the middle. I'm hoping that you'll be able to see this. There we go. 
there is a lady carved in the stone. Okay. Um, I'm not sure if it's glass or if it's... Well, this doesn't want to stay in here. Maybe I didn't turn it around. Um, it's a nice pen. I want to try to get it where it hangs. All right. If you can see that lady. Hang on for a second. There we go. I have to be able to see what I'm doing. All right. Now I can sit here all day long. And that thing will not go to sleep. But if I'm recording, for some reason it will go to sleep. So this is pretty nice. It's pretty intricate. Um... Let's see, what would be fair on this one? Um, very open. How about seven on this with that nice carving of the lady? It almost looks, you know, it's a combination of looking like it's the queen. Or maybe the lady in the Statue of Liberty. And that blue has some, it looks like it's got some sparkling in it. So this is a pretty pin. Okay. Now I have a really nice anchor. This would go really nice with that boat pin. Beautiful gold tone. Great condition. I don't see a marking on it. Brand new $4 for this beautiful anchor pin. It's big. I mean, it is two inches from top to bottom. Very pretty. All right. We only got a few more to go. Now I have, um, this is a Marcy pin. You know, the Enchanted, what is it, the Enchanted, Enchanted Children of Light. And this one happens to be a nurse. Okay. And um, these are pretty collectible. This one is in really, really good shape. Um, can you see her, how cute she is? Let's do seven on her. She's well worth that. Um, I did some comps on these just to get an idea. And most of these were running around, um, I'd say, anywhere between $15 and $19. So, but this is the nurse. Okay. Very cute. All right. Put that down. Now I have this pin. Which is, let's see, this has got some diamond cutting on it. And it's in brushed gold. This is over, this is two and a quarter inches tall. This is good for somebody that plays golf and they go out and, and they're on the course. Um, it's got a nice back on it and an older style pin, but I don't see no markings on it. You can see the diamond cutting there, diamond cutting here. This is very, very nice. Let's do, um, let's do three on that. You know how hard it is to get brooches? It's, it's impossible okay and when you do get them you're lucky if you get away with um, on a small lot like this as far as you know paying 60 65 70 dollars you know and you can't see everyone this is very cute I've never seen one of these before and I've seen a lot of brooches this is a choo-choo train and it has um, the engine with rhinestones, all the um, the uh, the wheels for the train are all rhinestones, and with the caboose, the red caboose, two cars in the thing, and the smokes coming out is in the pearls, and it goes from a small one to a large one. This is a nice pin. All right, let's do this pin for four. Okay, then I have this pin. This is a lighthouse. Um, this reminds me of some lighthouse. I'm not sure what one. I painted a lot of them that look like this. But this is a nice pin. Um, it is... It is just about to... I'd say it's one and seven eighths inch tall. And this is all enamel. And um, very pretty. Very pretty pin. Let's do four on this lighthouse pin. You know, if you're a fan of lighthouses, this is a, this is a nice pin. Okay. Then I have one of the eyeglass holders. And this has got all the Aurora Borealis rhinestones on it. 
Very cute. Pin this on. You can hang and, and and the pin comes out here because it keeps poking me. Let's do two on that. You put your eyeglasses, you know, in here. This probably there we go. This way when you're walking around, you don't have to worry about losing your eyeglasses if you don't have one of those things that keeps them around your neck. So these are these are handy little things. And this one's not a big one. Okay. Now, only a couple more. Let me put my eyes back on. Now, this one here, I'm pretty sure that this one is pewter. I have to go pick up a prescription. I'm dreading going out. It's so miserable out. And then Thursday, i got to take my, my aunt to get her hair done. Oh boy. There we go. And this is like um, We Are the World type pin. Um, very, very nice. I'm sure it's pewter. Let's do three on that. Now this is a really nice pin. No signature. Um, it's not a new pin. This is a ballerina um, dancing. This is Blue Mother of Pearl in here, and she's she's dancing and dancing here, dancing and dancing and dancing. Okay, she's very pretty, older. How about five on that? Now I have a special pin. Um, this is Savorsky Crystals, and this pin was made as a... Um, Oh, what do you call it? The Spirit of St. Louis, when Charles Lindbergh went and did his trip. And that's what this is. The Spirit in the Savorsky um, mark is right in here. And that's what this was a tribute to. And all the rhinestones are all Savorsky crystals. They're on the tail. And they're done in red, white, and blue. Um... I uh, did some comps on this. This is a well-made pen. Um, I know I'm going to kick myself in the butt. But if anybody's interested in this Spirit of St. Louis pin, let's do 12. If it doesn't sell, I'm not worried about it. Because um, it's Savorsky and it is, you know, a pin that's made in honor or something. So I think $12. I think the comps, I think I saw this as high as 20 some dollars. So twelve dollars is probably half of of it, and it's not even what it would be worth at retail. And I don't ever sell at retail, you know that. But this is a beautiful, beautiful pin. All right, let's put that down there. Now I have a shoe uh, with a nice A B finished um, thing. This I'm trying to think if this has got yes, this has got markings on it. This was marked. Um, this is maximal art all right um it's a little shoe it was, it's marked 18 dollars and 85 cents it's an older pin it's really nice let me give you a better closer look to it it's different okay can you see it's got the stuff in there and and it's got a big sign signature on it here which I know you're not going to be able to see because um, I'm a big mess when it comes to turning around and trying to uh, get things to focus in the camera. Oh, look at that. Maximal art. So, what I don't know if I said anything. Let's do six. All right. I think that would be fair. All right. We just got three more. All right. You got a friend in your family that bowls. This is a really pretty pin, and this is marked also. Let me see if I can read it. Oh my god. It looks like D O D D. Dodd. All right, here's the back, and the, the marking is in there. And this is the front. 
really pretty matte finish on the bowling pin itself and this is all rhinestones in the bowling ball let's do a five on this and then I have this pin you know anybody that sells real estate this is really adorable this is also by JJ okay this would be perfect if you have a friend that sells real estate and would like to wear a nice pin um, it says for sale and then it says sold and the JJ it's all articulated I can get this in here come on give me a uh, see there you go JJ all right well made pin uh, let's do a five on that and the last pin we have is a really nice um, double sailboat pin it's domicine and um, this has a C class so this is definitely an older an older pin let's see if I can get this in here so you can see it there's the C class and this is a very beautiful pin very very beautiful let me make sure this is all okay hang on oh yeah this is good very nice all right let's do eight on this pin all right that's it of what I got now I'm gonna to have to wrap these all back up so that they're all safe um so some of my favorites in here I love the Marcy pin of course I love this absolutely beautiful beautiful pin um, the lighthouse is really nice it looks lightweight it's not um, I like the big apple even though it's not New York, but it's a big apple, good for a teacher. The tennis racket's nice. This watch is phenomenal. Um, the bow is beautiful. This is awesome. It's really, really pretty. And the two, the three um, um, 1928 pins, and this one is, is, is um, really dope. Really, really nice. So, um, and this. This and the... Um, the circus pin this is the ski ski pin and then the circus pin and the bargain on that necklace is really good here's the other 1928 so there's a lot of um, interesting pieces in here it took me a little longer to go through them than I thought so uh, this is nice too really really nice if you're really a patriotic person that would be something to proudly display really made nice with the micro um, rhinestones all put throughout it okay so now remember all right thumbs up please put a smile on my face make me feel good it's I've been so stressed out with everything going on with this dog I'm just finally now got getting everything caught up everything in the emails is caught up everything packing is caught up all, all the processing is caught up so I'm doing good and my new system is working well um, now it's just a matter of catching up on a lot of the sleep that I lost and getting a few videos in 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 the bank for you guys so you have some content so don't forget the thumbs up um, when you comment it is very very important all right that you take and you put the timestamp please put a brief description and don't forget the price all right don't be having me go back and forth and back and forth looking for the prices on everything make my life a little easier okay that means I can get stuff done quicker and things shipped out to you faster if you really want them all right um, invoice, uh, invoices but your, your emails will be coming out um, in a day or two so um, when you get those um, if you're near 100 please pay if you're still down below a little bit you can hang on till you reach 100 um, also don't forget to hit the notification bell so you can be informed when I turn around and upload a new video and um, 
share if you can. Uh, continue praying for Padme that everything keeps going well so that uh, she gets better and I get better, that I get some sleep. And um, I want to remind you, I am a very, very, very small channel. Um, it's, I'm not a, really a business or anything. I don't sell my items for a real lot. Um, and um, like when I have a small package that has to go out, I pay for those shipping supplies. And I pay for the bubble wrap and all that stuff. So it's important if you can. Please remember to do your payments to me under the friend and family's button. Okay. Now when it's something that goes out with the priority boxes, I get that for free. But I still put in, I package your stuff in bags, baggies, okay, bubble wrap. You know, I do all that. And that's all at my, my cost. So the friends and family would, would help a little bit. Otherwise, I'm going to have to turn around and start charging a little bit more to compensate for the materials that I use. So, and I don't want to do that. I want to keep this fun and friendly and do this as re most reasonably as possible for all of you. Okay, I'm going because I'm blabbing. And um, I will be in touch soon. I will have another video coming out. Um, fairly shortly, not today, but you know it'll be coming soon. Um, and there's going to be a lot of good things, good things coming. Like I said, <clears throat> I've been starting to go in and try to dig through some stuff. I have people that are asking for different things, and I'm trying to find them. So remember, everybody, stay safe, stay healthy, and above all else, stay happy. And I will be in touch soon. And I love all you guys. And thank you for shopping and being a member of the Jewelry Pirate family. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.